am Rachel McLean with The Mather, a forward-thinking life plan community being developed in Tysons for those 62 and better and projected to open in 2024. The Mather is delighted to support the Fairfax Symphony season and we are thrilled to help bring you this conversation about an upcoming concert. Enjoy. So this program is different from what we normally present to our audience. We're actually splitting the orchestra up to highlight different sections, the percussion section, the woodwind section, and the string section. The percussion piece we're performing is for four percussionists and about 40 actual different percussion instruments up on stage. A very rhythmic and energetic kind of a primal piece which will kick off this program and will certainly get everyone fired up, I'm sure of that. The winds will be playing the Dvorak Wind Serenade. is really a virtuosic piece for the winds of the orchestra. The strings are playing a number of pieces, actually. A piece by a contemporary composer whose name is Adolphus Hailstork, who actually lives in Virginia, Essay for Strings, and a piece by the composer Arvo Pär, an Estonian composer of international repute, and also a brand new piece by the Czech composer Silvia Bodorova for string section of the orchestra, but also two soloists, a double bassist and a guitarist. My name is Aaron Clay. I play the double bass, and I am principal bass of the Fairfax Symphony. In February, I will be performing a concerto for solo guitar, double bass, and strings by Sylvie Badarova. It is rare to hear this combination of instruments together. The colors of the two instruments mix well and produce different shades of musical expression throughout. I believe the audience will really enjoy this piece. Hi, my name is Jason Vio. I'm a classical guitarist originally from Buffalo, New York, and I'm really looking forward to playing the Sylvie Bodorova Concerto for double bass and guitar with Fairfax Symphony. I have never performed a piece quite like this. I have never done a double concerto with a double bassist. There's a lot of, particularly in the outer movements, a lot of dialogue between the two soloists and the orchestra. Well, one of the hard parts is this kind of presto thing in, in the first movement. The... And then you get this kind of, this kind of thing is like a motive that happens in the, throughout the piece. This kind of da da, these, these kind of jagged chord jabs. And near the end, you get this nice, this is fun. People ask why, why do we perform brand new pieces when we have all this great music from the past? And I think the most obvious answer to that is that that music from the past was new once. So unless you perform new music, so to speak, you would not have the music of Beethoven, Brahms and Tchaikovsky. Join us February 19th at George Mason University's Harris Theatre for an exciting program featuring Jason Vio, guitarist, and Aaron Clay, double bassist, in a brand new concerto by Sylvia Bodorova.